Hi there, welcome back. Let's talk about program output and user input. Let's start with program output. First of all, we have print bracket function here. It's a built-in Python function used to output data to the console. And next, for example, print happy penguin will output the string happy penguin to the console. So I'm pretty sure that you're pretty familiar with this print function. And furthermore, we can print multiple items by separating them with commas like print happy space and then comma here and then penguin and then close bracket here. So this is how you can print multiple items inside a print statement which is with a comma here. Next will be user input. For example, input bracket here is a built-in Python function used to read a line of text from user input. And next, for example, student name equal to input what is your name will prompt the user to enter their name. It means that the output console will display this what is your name on the output console and then whatever that we type into the output console and then click enter will be stored into this variable called student name so this is how we can use the input function and next by default input function returns a string if we want to work with numerical input we need to convert the string to an integer using the integer function and now let's get the example here student age is an integer value because for age we always use integer and then integer bracket input bracket how old are you will prompt the user to enter their age and convert it into integer it means that first of all this input bracket how old are you will actually store as a string but at the same time we will convert the variable into integer value using this integer bracket here therefore the final result student age is an integer value as usual let's look at the lab write a program that asks the user for their name and age then prints a message using this information basically there are two inputs which are the name and the age and let's look at the output console here so for example this will be the output here what is your name so this will be stored as a string so let's say you type in happy penguin so you'll be stored into a string variable and next how old are you 99 so this 99 will be stored as a string but at the same time you'll convert it into an integer therefore the final output will be hello name you are age years old so this is how you can write the code for this lab